Hello and welcome to The Perspective. In this edition, we talk to Embakasi East Member of Parliament, Babu Owino, who has been a bit under the radar following the big club incident that happened a few months back. Thank you so much for having us, Mishmiwa. What have you been up to lately? Uh, actually, uh, thank you very much, Davis. What I'm, uh, what I'm concentrating on at the moment is my parliamentary duties. Correct ensuring that I work for my constituents, ensuring that I deliver the services that I signed uh, uh, in the contract with the members uh, of Embakasi East uh, constituency, okay. ensuring that those children in, the, in Embakasi East are given bursaries plus the students, ensuring that uh, that poor mom in, uh, in the slums who is doing a business of selling vegetables, uh, uh, that business is graduated from us, uh, being into a kiosk to a supermarket ensuring that the table banking is used to develop our women in the constituency and our youth get various jobs. Ensuring that the roads are constructed, ensuring that uh, schools are constructed and renovated. Those are some of the main areas that I deal with in Embakasi and also provision of water. That is the main duty that I've been doing. And also legislation in parliament. I'll just, uh, I've been just doing things uh, normally because it is my constitutional right as a member of parliament to deliver to the people who elected me. The big club incident where you were allegedly seen shooting at the DJ, DJ Evo. I know the matter is still in court, but if you can allow me to ask this, do you have any regrets perhaps on what might have happened? Uh, that matter, uh, as you all know, as Kenyans know, is a matter uh, that is sub judice. Okay. It is a matter that is before a court of law, and a matter before a court of law should not be discussed as much as I would love to discuss and talk about it. Okay. Uh, secondly, it is a matter that is between me and God. Okay. And uh, I chose to forgive myself. And I want to tell you, Davis, we cannot change the past, but we can change the f future. Let us focus on what is coming uh, uh, in the foreseeable future. Let us not dwell so much in our past, because we can't change it, no matter how much we'd wish to change it. Yes. There's been a lot of conflicting reports about your involvement in terms of you supporting the DJ. In regards to that, how, how do you respond to maybe your involvement towards ensuring that at least his health gets to be better going forward? Again, I would not wish to dwell in that. Uh, matters bills, I will pay the bills okay. and I will leave it at that. Okay. Yes. Anything perhaps you want to... I will not talk about it because it is a matter before a court of law. Okay. Yes. Okay. But his health is doing okay? He's fine as we speak. His bills will be paid by myself. And I don't want to discuss about it, please. Because I don't want the DPP again to come with issues that Babo Wino is discussing a matter that is before a court of law. So I, I would not wish to offend the judiciary. I would not wish to offend the office of the... Uh, public prosecution also. And I would not also wish to offend the victim himself because discussing a matter while he's uh, in that uh, precarious condition is not good. Correct. We need to respect him, we need to respect myself, we need to respect the judiciary, the people of Kenya. We also need to respect the office of the DPP plus the DCI. Correct. Yes. What's your political ambition come 2022 will you still be vying for the embakasi seat or you have other plans uh, every other person must be ambitious okay. in nature okay. as at the moment i will not talk about my political ambition okay. because i still have a contract with the people of embakasi East, the people who elected me to deliver it will be so unfair to the people of embakasi East to talk about what i want next without fully delivering what i promised them to deliver so i will communicate at the right time after delivering fully to my people. Okay. Yes. I saw a video yesterday, you having a good time with Governor Mike Zonko. Yes. I believe it was his birthday. Governor Zonko has been on the receiving end mm -hmm. recently after he surrendered some of the key functions he was meant to do to the national government. I believe you are there in your capacity as a friend. Yes. How do you tell Nairobians, you being a member of you being a, one of the leaders in Nairobi, how do you tell the city residents that all is well in Nairobi, regardless uh, of what Governor Sonko Number did? one, being with Governor Sonko is on a personal uh, basis as Correct. Babu Owino. Correct. Tell me one friend who is perfect and I will befriend that person. There's nobody who is perfect. There's nobody who is righteous before God. 
everybody has their flaws, everybody has their weaknesses. This does not mean that Governor Sonko is, 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 uh, is guilty. The case is in court and uh, is innocent till proven guilty. It is th and that is, uh, that is uh, envisaged in the Kenyan constitution. I was there as a friend. I don't run away from friends. Whenever okay. friends get trouble, personally as Babu Oweno, I'll avail myself. If you get in trouble yourself, Davis, I will avail myself because you're my friend. So, uh, and I don't go around uh, choosing perfect friends. Do you Jesus Christ came for sinners. Correct. The churches were built for sinners, the Correct. unrighteous. So I don't have a right to judge, I don't have the yardstick to, to judge. When it comes to the matters in Nairobi, Nairobi residents made a decision and they elected Governor Sonko as their governor. Uh, the issue about uh, power being, uh, uh, some, some functions of the county government being uh, taken to the national government, that was an agreement between uh, the national government and Governor Sonko and I have nothing to say about it. Do you support it? You are a leader in it Nairobi will, County. If it are is, you concerned? If it is for the best interest of Nairobians, and I believe that it is for the best interest of Nairobians, then there is no problem with it. I okay. have no problem with it. Okay. Because the president uh, is, 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 is number one in this nation. So the decision that he made, uh, together with the national members of the national government, I think is for the best interest of Nairobians. Right. And Governor Sonko also made a good decision. Right. Yes. My final question will be, there has been a lot of talk also about some Nairobi leaders not delivering on their mandate. You as Babu Owino and the Member of Parliament of Embakasi East, what are some of the things you are doing for your constituents which really... In fact, uh, the, other day, <laughs> the other day I saw some uh, ranking from some company Correct. that uh, elicited uh, uh, so much mixed reactions. Uh, ranking Babo Wino number 290 out of 290. Uh, first of all, even when you look at me from my dressing, shows you that I cannot be number last without coming to my brains. Number two, I'm a person who scored first class honors in natural science and second upper in law. That's a person who knows what he's doing. That's a person who has no liquid intelligence. That's a person who is not a razzmatazz. That's a person who is not a village salad. That's a person who's intelligence capacity is at optimum. That's a person who can deliver because he's organized, because he knew why he vied for Embakasi's constituency. I have worked for my people. I have renovated classes at Embakasi's constituency. I have renovated, uh, 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 I have built classes, I've renovated classes. I have uh, done uh, security high mast in every ward in Embakasi's constituency. I've done over 22 roads, both tarmac and providing maram, temporary maram solutions in Embakasi's constituency. I introduced table banking to empower women and youth in Embakasi's constituency, where they get loans uh, after they form the groups, they register the groups, they are educated on matters table banking, then they are given loans from the youth fund and given loans from the women fund to advance their businesses. As Babu Owino, I'm planning now, this year, I'm going to build two schools. There is a primary school that is going to be built at Tassi, and there is a secondary school that is going to be built at Donum. There are buses that have been given, that, are, that I'm going to give from Friday to various schools in Mbaka, within Embakasi's constituency. So, as Babu Owino, I've done so much to my constituents. Uh, as we speak, there's a police station that is being constructed to enhance security. There's driving lessons that we took our, our people, our youth, to various, uh, to, to drive rocky driving school, so that at least they can uh, uh, nurture the skills uh, of driving, and after that they can be employed in various organizations. So I've united the people of Embakasi East, and above all we put God in Embakasi East constituency as a driving factor to every Embakasi East constituent. Fantastic. So if you ask any resident of Embakasi East constituency, and I can task you, Ask any member of Embakasi's constituency that has Babu worked or has Babu not worked. Fantastic. I have clearly done my homework. I've worked for my residents. Unlike the previous members of parliament who did nothing, I have worked and as we speak, I've done 70% of the promises to my residents, to my constituents. Yes. Your parting shot to Kenyans, Mishwe. Uh, to Kenyans, I really love your spirit. Kenya is a nation where nobody is losing hope. It is a nation that everybody wants to make it. To the youth, do not lose hope. Let us soldier on together 
as your leader, we started from far. I started from position of selling Chang'e. And as of now, I can serve people at a national level, being a member of parliament, as your servant, as your leader. And I believe that even you, you have an opportunity to change your life. Do not lose hope. Let us go together. And just know that whenever there is light, there is also heat produced from the same place. So don't be scared of being caught. Just so down, never lose hope, and let's be united. Let's support BBI, for it will change the future of the youth in this nation, the future of women in this nation, the future of the old in this nation. A youth must always know that he's closer to the future than an old person. Therefore, we are still together in it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Cheers. Thank you so much.